Hey folks, just a quick note before this video starts. I apologize, but parts of the video, the audio is horrible. There's a lot of scratching noise, and that's from the microphone I had on my shirt. And uh, also, the camera goes in and out of focus quite a bit, especially uh, towards the end of the video. So I apologize ahead of time, but uh, try to enjoy. Well, good evening, guys. It is a, well, it was Thursday night. It's Friday. Friday, the 4th of November. It is 12.47 p.m., 42 degrees, and I'm in Saratoga Springs right now. Thanks for riding along with me. So we're on our way up to Vermont to deliver this trailer, which is my fourth load of the week. If you're new to the channel, I do a dedicated run between Fulton, New York and Waterbury, Vermont. I run from New York to Vermont loaded and I run from Vermont back down to New York empty. So anyway, we're right in Saratoga Springs right now. We're on uh, 29, just about to get onto Route 9. This is the truck bypass around the main downtown area. I don't think you're supposed to be down on the main street down in downtown, but I see trucks do it. We got about two and a half hours and we'll be up in uh, Waterbury. We'll do a drop and hook. And we're gonna head for the ferry tonight at Grand Island, Vermont, going across to Plattsburgh, New York. And that trailer that I brought up there last night, I'm gonna show it to you when I get up there. And actually maybe I'll just put a picture right now of what I found when I picked up the trailer yesterday evening in New York and kind of pisses me off because uh, drivers shouldn't leave something like that for somebody else but the uh, as you can see in the picture the mud flap bracket is all twisted up and on top of the tire So I had to do something to get it off the tire so I could move the trailer. And uh, these trailers, when they're loaded, are supposed to be ready to go with nothing wrong with them because this is just-in-time freight, or J-I-T freight. And uh, I knew that light was going to change. <laughs> this is a short light here. I don't know why this light is so short because I'm on the main road here. And this is side road here, it gets a long light. And it seems to be on a timer instead. It used to be, uh, you know, one of those sensor type lights where it would change if somebody came to the side road, but they must have had a problem with it. But anyway, going back to the trailer, um, yeah, they're, they're supposed to be ready to go. So I took some pictures of, of the stuff and sent it to the agent and told her that she needed to read the riot act to whoever left that trailer there like that because that happened on the road somewhere that didn't happen there at the plant that was obviously a uh, blown tire and the rubber wrapped around that bracket and bent it all to hell because there's a brand new tire right there and uh, they had to have known that happened and in any case, they didn't do a post trip, did they, on the trailer when they dropped it? But anyway, that kind of stuff pisses me off when you have a driver that knows damn well he's leaving a problem for somebody else. Right now, I think we have uh, around five, five trailers that are out of service back at the plant. And I think four of them I put there. 
Did I find stuff wrong? I put them out of service. Because a lot of times I get the same trailers back, so I don't want to don't want to mess myself up. But you know something's broken or not right, you should, you know. Do your job. Is what I'm trying to say, do your damn job. But, enough ranting about that. Anyway, we're going to be getting on to 87 North right here, the Adirondack Northway. For about 20 miles anyway, then we got to get back off on two lane roads. But uh, looks like maybe this week I might be doing an extra load. Don't know yet. I'm going to find out tomorrow. Or today, I guess, actually. I've got enough hours to do an extra load because last weekend I brought my trailer, my loaded trailer, home with me because it was ready at the end of the week. That way I started from home, which saved me about five hours. So I've got that extra time that I can still do the extra load and still make it home. It'll be close, but I can make it home. And then I guess if something goes wrong and I have to use a lot more time than I thought, then I guess I won't make it home. But we'll see, we'll find out tomorrow. I told the agent whatever she needs me to do Whatever works out better with the schedule. If she would rather have me go home after my normal Saturday delivery and get my hours reset so I can start again or do the extra load, whatever. I know last week they canceled the Saturday delivery and I delivered... think now. No, I'm, I'm wrong on that. They didn't cancel the Saturday delivery. I was so far ahead, I delivered the Saturday Friday night. And then I went back to Fulton and picked up the other load. But there was no other loads until I delivered the next one on Monday night. So that worked out pretty good. She didn't need anybody extra to run loads when I was off. It was We had uh, one guy... Uh, like I think I told you in an earlier video, we had one guy that uh, sold his truck and stopped driving. And we had another fellow that uh, died of pneumonia with COVID. I guess they said they, he died of COVID, but actually I think he died with COVID, not of COVID. So, uh, yeah, so that was... Uh, not good. So we lost two really good drivers just a short time ago. So we're a little bit short-handed right now, but things are a little bit slower, and I don't think she's having any trouble finding extra drivers right now because these are really good paying loads. Yeah, I don't know if it's dark enough, but when I look back at this video, I think I can see, uh, I think you can see stars in the night sky, which is really good for a camera. Usually they're so dark you can't see anything. Now, I use a little bit different setup camera at, uh, at night. My normal camera where I show the the, uh, out the windshield and I show myself can only really use those when it's light out they just don't they just don't gather enough light this one here does really good at night
Anyway, we're going to get on up to uh, Waterbury. I'm going to show you that trailer up there. Show you what I did, how I how I fixed that so I could get the trailer up there. Uh, going to find out if anybody fixed anything today. I don't know if they were able to get somebody in there to fix it. Probably not because the repair places up there in Vermont, they're so backed up with work all the time that it's usually a couple of days before they can get, get to anything. We'll just have to uh, get it back down to Fulton and put it out of service and keep our fingers crossed that we don't get a ticket for that mud flap. I don't know really what else to do when you're running this just-in-time stuff. It, you know, you don't have time to sit around all day and get a new mud flap bracket and mud flap put on. I mean, if I guess if you had a mechanical breakdown that didn't allow anything to move, or if it was an unsafe condition, yeah, you'd have to you'd have to bite the bullet and do it, but. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll show you that trailer when we get up there. All right, so we're here at Waterbury, and here is the damaged mud flap hanger. Now, it's, it's bad. Anyway, I took a ratchet strap and ratcheted it up and away from the tire. You could see these are brand new uh, recaps put on this trailer, so. That'll work. So we just gotta get this trailer ready to go and hopefully we don't get a ticket for that mud flap. Yeah, these doors work a little bit different on this trailer. This is a uh, extra lease trailer. Yeah, but this whole bar here, this whole thing's gonna need to be replaced. All right, nothing I could do, because this trailer here is uh, loaded with pallets. And the other one I just put in the door. That won't be unloaded till later today. Let me just double check this uh, kingpin. Looks good. All right, so we're all done here. We're gonna get on out of here. We can make the uh, 5.25 a.m. ferry. All right, guys, we are just arriving over here at the ferry. It is 5.15, so we got about 10 minutes to wait. Good morning. What's that? 63 to 72.
Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. So, got about nine minutes to wait. We're gonna get something ready, ready to eat. I'm hungry. Didn't really have much of a dinner tonight. All right, we're on the ferry now, so we're gonna make a quick meal. I'm gonna use some of this uh, minute rice. I also got some chicken that I cooked up at home, so I'm gonna take that and cut it up. All right, well, I'm cutting up this chicken that I brought from home and uh, I'm gonna mix it in with the rice. And I, I cooked this at home in the frying pan. I just threw it in the frying pan and uh, put a little salt and pepper and a little poultry seasoning on it. But uh, if you don't wanna do that, you can just go to Walmart and get some of this stuff here, like this fajita chicken or they have regular grilled chicken or whatever. This is pretty, pretty good stuff here. That works real good. Uh, mix it into this rice as well. So our rice is done. I'll just dump some of this rice in here or all of this rice. Usually I would heat up the chicken separately but I'm going to add some cheese and I'm going to stick it back in there. Some cheddar cheese and throw it back in the microwave. So we'll put that in there for two minutes. Let the cheese melt. And I'm going to add some of this uh, pico de gallo. And this stuff here, I found this. This is an Aldi's. This is really good, this stuff. This is a lot better than the one you can get at Walmart, for sure. It uh, seems to be a lot. I've got it a couple of times now, and it seems to be a lot fresher. See, this one says uh, used by November 3rd. Today's the 4th already and it's still looking good so it's good stuff all right so our food is done cheese melted real good here so we got rice chicken and i'm going to throw some of this pico de gallo in there actually i'm going to put some of that juice in there just to get a little moisture in there this has got uh, onions, tomato, uh, and some little jalapenos. I don't think it has, it doesn't have cilantro in it. What does it say here? It don't say nothing on there. Let's see. Does it have anything on the bottom? Yeah. Tomato, jalapeno peppers, red onions, lime juice, and you know, it says it has cilantro. So it must be chopped up real fine. All right, well, it took me too long to make the meal, uh, probably because I was messing with the camera, but uh, we are across the lake already, and I'm going to have to put this away. But fortunately, we only have about a six or seven minute ride up to uh, the truck stop here, so. We'll finish this when we get over there. I'm going to stick it back in the microwave for now so it doesn't fall on the floor. Yeah, so we're just almost at the little truck stop here in Plattsburgh. It is 5.49 a.m. 53 degrees here. I think it's supposed to be another warm day today.
And we have arrived. All right, guys, so we're here at the little truck stop. I just want to come back here and check our mud flap, broken mud flap. Oh, yeah, forgot to mention, November 4th. Still wearing shorts. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. Yeah, it still looks all right. Rapid ratchet strap still nice and tight. Don't look like it's getting cut or anything, so should be all right. Should be good to go. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this video up. I do appreciate you coming along for the ride with me. Give me a thumbs up on the video. That helps out the channel. And, uh, hey, if you're not already subscribed, why don't you think about doing that? That'd help, too. So, anyway, uh, we're going to see you on the next one. Everybody take care.